Hi everyone, I'm Nut Free Mama, and today I'm going to teach you how to make red velvet gooey butter cookies. Uh, let's start out with the ingredients. First, you're going to need red velvet cake mix. Of course, if you have a kid with allergies, you want to always read the side of the box. This one for the allergens, it contains wheat. It's Duncan Hines red velvet delicious moist cake mix. Then you're going to need one egg. You're going to need a half a cup of butter, which equals one stick. You're going to need 8 ounces of cream cheese, 1 teaspoon of vanilla, and 1 cup, which is about half a bag of white chocolate chips. Um, these are great value from Walmart. Go ahead and look on the, on the back of them, of course, and they contain milk and soy, so they're good for those of you with nut allergies. Okay, your first step is you're going to preheat your oven to 350. You're going to want your cream cheese and your butter softened. I put mine in the microwave for about 20-30 seconds. And then you want to beat that with a mixer. I don't have a stand-up mixer, so I just used my handheld one, and it works great. Next, you want to add in your um, egg and your vanilla to that. Mix it up a little more. And then you're going to add your cake mix and your white chocolate chips. Now, it starts getting a little tricky with the mixer at this point. So you want to just do as much as you can, and then go ahead and stop and mix it by hand, either with a big spoon, a spatula, whatever you want to. And this is what it should look like. Okay, your next step after you have that all mixed is to go ahead and put it on your cookie sheets. I like to spray mine with cooking spray because nobody wants cookies that are stuck to your cookie sheet. Those don't taste good. This recipe calls for, it makes about 24, and if you're like me, you usually never can get that many, but this one you actually can. So you just want to, I mean, I did generous spoonfuls. So it's probably more than a teaspoon, actually. And they turn out really well. Then you want to go ahead and put those in the oven for about 10 to 12 minutes, depending. Just keep checking them. Okay, this batch is ready. It cooked for the whole 12 minutes. When you get them out, they still look like they're gooey but that is what makes them delicious. Just let them cool for a few minutes and then they're ready to taste. And let me know if in the comments if how you like them because they've become my favorite cookie by far. Okay, this batch has cooled and it is ready for a taste test, so I'm going to go get my official taste tester. Um, but my second batch, just to let you know, they were ready in 10 minutes, so be sure you check them. Just check the bottoms of them when they're still in there. Lift them up with a spatula. They should come up pretty easy. You don't want them to get burnt. Okay, let's take one of these cookies over to my little taste tester over here. Thank you. Here, taste this cookie. Uh, yum. Yum. Is it good? Okay, we hope you enjoy them. Come back, comment. Um, I hope to have more recipes on here soon. Thanks. I like them.